Yes, we are officially crazy and we have lost our mind. <laughs> What usually happens to this spot? Teddy? <laughs> we love our elderberry. So I've got honey digging me up some on the side of the road. So we can take these home and plant them in our yard where we know they're, they're, they're not going to get sprayed and cut down. They're going to be taken care of and we get to take the benefits from them. We're literally on the side of the road. I think people think we're absolutely nuts so up here digging hedges out, but we got a ton of elderberry. So. I mean, a ton. Look, we got a tree. I mean, come on. The, the where these are at are under poles. I mean, year after year, they come through and cut this and spray this, and my heart just can't take it anymore. We got tons of elderberry planted, but you can never have too much elderberry. And and these are trees, so I have tons of puddings in the greenhouse, but it will take a year, a year or two or three. I mean, it, it will be a few years before I, they are fast growing. It will be a while before we get onto this size. So I thought, I mean, if we can go across the road. Why not? Some of these are like 12 foot. Yeah. It's crazy. I'm 5'2", and that's that much over my head. Hey, help get them out, baby. Hey, help. Hey, help. And these may or may not make it, but it's cost us 45 minutes of our time, and that's about it. We've decided, because we got them from basically under a bridge, um, we've decided to come down here by our pond area and put it where it's really sunny and it's what? like by the water so it stays kind of wet over here which is kind of mimicking where we got them from so i'm hoping that they'll do well over here um but we'll see you know we're just going to plant them and <clears throat> we're going to plant some up to the front of the house by the creek and we'll just see how they do Right, 
Last one's going in. We hope these make it, but if they don't, it didn't cost us anything but time. We decided to go ahead and put all of them down here by the pond. Hopefully being by the water will kind of mimic the location where they were. And I would be thrilled to fill all this up with the elderberry, but we're gonna put these there, see how they do. Maybe we can get more this fall when it gets a little bit more dormant. 10, and this is not the best time to, to try to transplant because they've obviously already started growing. But I couldn't bear to see them. Let's kind of give a location of where we're at. So we're sprayed. We're at the back side of our lake. Basically, if you remember the wheat and pumpkin field is right there. Where we were doing that line by that church is, is on up this way. Our house would be through these pines. And basically, if we went straight mm -hmm. due south, you'd be right on the sheep. So we're kind of on the back side. We don't show this part of the property too much other than just when we're riding through. But um, we, we thought about making some of this for the sheep or some of the the, hog, the, uh, the cow. Duck. But uh, right now, we don't have to use it. So we don't really do much over on this side. But uh, enjoy the scene of the lake. So. What do y'all say? Happy homestead, y'all.